So I'm about to do a product shoot. So I'm gonna do it on this acrylic plastic uh, tray. And I'm just gonna lay it on the table. I also have a, um, it's like a lava rocks. I haven't opened it yet. But I'm gonna place that on there and then light it up and see what's gonna look like. And the products I'm shooting are these, um, I guess to make your room smell good, it's like an aerosol spray. I don't know if you can focus on there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting over being sick. It's not focusing, but anyways, I have, there he goes. I have quite a few of these to shoot, so I'm gonna put those maybe one at a time. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. So the whole point of this uh, theme is just to make it look like it's outside and not shot in somebody's apartment. So I might even use this, uh, I might use this light, I'm not really sure yet. Uh, I'm just gonna set up how I want it to look first and then I'll start lighting it. All right, so I just placed an LED light underneath the tray, which is the whole reason I got the tray. So I can make it look like, you know, it's like on something hot. So I might add a second one, I'm not really sure yet. So we're playing around, we're seeing how it looks, but this is a good start so far. All right, so I am gonna be shooting with my Sony a6600 and the Sony 30 millimeter, I mean, I'm sorry, the Sigma 30 millimeter 1.4 lens. Uh, and that's equivalent to a 45, I think roughly 45 millimeter for a full frame. So I think that'll be good because I want it to be able to see just enough of this and not the outside so I don't want I don't want to go wide on it so I'm bringing in a LED another one um, leaving it on blue right now because I kind of want to have like a cool orange and blue look to this and so far I think it's looking pretty moody now on the screen uh, this is my home screen this is one of the pictures I have coming soon but I might even add a background, so I'm gonna flip this screen around, and I actually have a lava picture in here that I actually kinda wanna use, so something like this. So if I flip the whole screen and maybe prop this up, I'm not sure how yet, um, it'll be a good contrast on both of these. So I could probably match the red to that one, or I could probably do it in post too. All right, so I decided to put it on a tripod now because I need my other hand. Uh, I'm hand holding this LED light and I was gonna use flash. Um, but I'm just gonna see what it looks like with just uh, an LED light and I like the softness of it. So I think if I get a little closer, you can kind of see it looks pretty good. It was looking harsh uh, when I just used that LED light there. Uh, but once I added this softness on here, it looks pretty good. So see, if I get a little closer, everything kind of lights up. So I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna try a couple shots. My cat's getting curious now. So I gotta get her out of the way. Hey, don't eat that. The problem with shooting photos here at the apartment is my cat. No, Minky's not food. Hey, don't bite me. Come on. We gotta get out. I gotta remove her. All right, all right. So I added a few more rocks uh, just so I could fill the frame a little more because I do have to crop it and I don't want to crop it too much. I just want to crop enough to get it so you kind of only see the rock. So now that's that's one picture I took there. I think the blue light's adding to it. So this is with less rocks. So I had less to work with there. So I think now with the more rocks on there. It looks a little bit better. I had to brighten the LED light a little bit more. It's a little tough with LED lights because with flash, it kind of freezes everything and it's more powerful. With LED lights, it's less powerful, so more work on the camera. And, and the more you might get some blurred images. So having the tripod is very helpful. So I'm gonna continue uh, taking more shots. I get some of the dust off of here from the rocks.
the rest I'll clean up in post. Okay, so we are now moving on. This is like the third product I'm shooting. This is called the Annabelle, which is pretty cool. So one of the things I've been noticing is that red light probably not showing as much. I was going to brighten it up, but I think I'm going to do most of my work for these photos in post anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave it where it's at since I've already shot a couple of these. And I do have to play around with the labels because sometimes the other label was uh, started off with black and then went to white. So I had to lower my LED light and now we're back to black. And I think I might have to Let's see, so this is what it looks like in camera, which doesn't look too bad. I'll take a couple of shots right here like this. Alright, so I just kind of discovered if I just lift this up a little bit more, look how that red kind of spreads out more, and that's kind of more what I want. It's hard to see it on here, but uh, I got to find something to elevate this with, so... Let me look for something. The grip clips seem to work out. Elevate it a little bit more. We'll see how these shots look. Okay, to save me the trouble, I decided just that I needed to bring out a C stand because uh, I was holding this light up every single shot. And so this will make it go a little bit quicker. And then I can just grab the products, put one back in, take the, take a few shots, and then move on. I don't have to keep messing with the lighting. And uh, so I did mess with the bottom light a little bit. I turned up the temperature a little bit more. Um, not the temperature, um, the exposure of it. And I, I was trying to get it to be a little bit more red, because right now it looks a little bit more violet, violet red, which I didn't really want. But it, it looks red now. On camera looks red. Like I said, I can always mess with that in post. And uh, since I don't have a tennis ball for the end of this, this is very important. Make sure you put something at the end of your any stand you have sticking out like this. It's just safer. You don't hit your head, you don't hit yourself. And I'm going to be going in and out grabbing products, so I don't want I don't want to get hurt. So now I'm shooting with a couple of backlights, and I have an overhead light, and we're going to see how this looks. So I am all done with today's shoot. I shot every product and I, the goal was to make it look like it's outside, you know, like in a kind of a lava area. And I think I accomplished it. I'm going to do a little post work, but this was fun to do. I like getting creative and coming up with different concepts for doing lighting, uh, doing uh, certain things that you can use, like this little tray with the rocks, lighting it underneath it. I have an LED light underneath here. I gotta turn it off. The drawback on these is, you know, they only have so much power and you gotta get all your shots in before you gotta charge it again. <laughs> 